Hey, what's up guys? Well, keeping the theme of short and straight to the point videos, here's the latest jailbreak news and a quick recap of everything we know so far related to an iOS 13 jailbreak. Anyway, you know what to do, let's get directly into things. So, there are two major achievements that I wanted to talk about. First, Ivy Sparks was able to get Shell and SSH running on the latest iOS 13 beta. And secondly, there's a new Safari WebKit exploit too. So, first with the iOS 13 news, Ivy Sparks has SSH running on the latest iOS 13 beta. From the screenshot, we can tell that he mounted the iOS file system and that he's running as a root user, not from mobile, so that's impressive. And with this, he can run commands to explore the file system and transfer files to his device all over Wi-Fi. Well, as you guys know, a few weeks back, IB Sparks also demoed Cydia running on iOS 13. He demoed this on 12.4 as well, showing that his vulnerability also exists on older iOS versions. And this is all possible from a private kernel exploit that he has to get TPF0. So he has Cydia running, he has SSH capabilities, now what's left? Well, in the comments he noted, tweak injection is not quite working yet. So the main thing left is to get substrate or substitute running properly on iOS 13 for tweaks to load correctly. Now again, this exploit and his research, none of it has been released to the public. It's all still zero date, which is what makes it so exciting and impressive to me. Apple has no idea about this exploit or the vulnerability that is exploited basically, so they can't do anything about it to patch it. Now, if IB Sparks ever plans to release his work, it's going to be after iOS 13 is released to the public, so it's not patched in beta stages. Now, this means if all goes according to plan, we could definitely have an iOS 13 jailbreak relatively quickly after its public release. Now, on top of all of this, the second major piece of news I wanted to talk about, a new Safari WebKit exploit has been released. Now, this will basically allow users to go to a website and jailbreak their devices, something like what Jailbreak Me did on iOS 9. So, there won't be a need for a side-loaded application. You could just go to a website that's always up, that's always signed, to initially jailbreak and re-enable your jailbreak. Again, this exploit is just something that adds more features on top of a jailbreak utility. It's not actually going to lead to a jailbreak itself. It's more like the cherry on top of everything else. Anyway guys, that's the latest news. Major progress is being made by IB Sparks in the iOS 13 jailbreak scene, and still more iOS 12 exploits are coming out in the meantime. So for now, what should you guys do? Now typically the best route you can take is to stay on the lowest iOS version that you can, just never update. And that will most often improve your chances of receiving a jailbreak. But this time around, in all likelihood, I really wouldn't expect much to be released before iOS 13 is released to the public this fall, unless something's already patched by Apple. Other than that, if it's still zero date, no one's going to burn their exploit right now before iOS 13 is released to the public. Anyway, like always, we're here to report the news. We'll let you guys make the ultimate decision if you want to update or not. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys like these shorter videos, definitely let us know in the comments section or just by hitting that thumbs up button. Definitely subscribe for the latest Apple and jailbreaking related news. Again, we have more awesome content coming later this week, so definitely stay tuned. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.